Hey guys, it's Metro, and today we're out here on the Pine Mountain Trail. We're gonna be doing a nice little hike from Dowdell's Knob down to Sparks Creek, taking out at Rocky Point. It's gonna be a beautiful day. Let's keep moving. So in case you didn't know, you gotta get a parking pass as well as make sure whatever site you are hiking in from, you have a pass that signals where you're gonna be staying that night. So it, it helps the rangers know who's out there overnight versus I guess just partying in the woods. So make sure you get your pass at the park office. All right, so now that we've checked in, what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to Dowdell's Knob where we're gonna meet up with a few other hikers that are doing a through hike of the Pine Mountain Trail. I'm not gonna say who they are yet, so I wanna spoil the surprise. Either way, making our way to Daldell's Knob to have lunch with a few hikers, and then we're gonna be heading over to Rocky Point, hiking in Sparks Creek to meet up with the no longer stranger, Fred's on a walkabout. Let's keep moving. Is our first through hiker. Through hiker one. Hello. Sky. Sky's What's up, y'all? What's up? Hey, How you Fran. Doing? How you doing? I'm great. How are you? Good. Through hiker number two in the house. How yeah. are you? And here comes number three. Boom. Hey. Through hiker number yeah. three in the house. There we go. What's up? How you doing? How are you? Good. Good. <laughs> Let me. You know, they dressed this up on Memorial Day. Oh. With a, with a ribbon. Yeah. And uh, come on up close here. Jim Hall, you know who he is. Uh -huh. they, the five, there was five, four, four died, one survived. Okay. So they, see the drill this hole, there's four holes going across here. Oh. And they put little flags in them, oh. and they got a banner that goes over here. This one back there was for the guy that survived. Okay. When he dies, they're going to move him out there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, no. I have a go. Everybody's yep. stumbling at the end of the trail. <laughs> These four are the same. Okay. We got ham and cheese. Ham and cheese. And here's Andy. He's oh, you got it. You, you hooked one. it up with a foot long, man. Thank you so much. Oh, water you still up. Up. That's some nice. love trail magic. Mm -hmm. We appreciate that gallon at Molly Hugger Hill. It was so cold. It was there. real cold. Yeah. I was thinking this ain't fun for them, but I left it there. <laughs> no, it was good. It was I don't want to hold two and a half pounds. I see it. It ain't that far. 2.3. Go. Well, we have had quite a day. We just met up with some through hikers that were making their way from mile marker zero to mile marker 23, but there has been an incident out here on the Pine Mountain Trail. According to my friend John back there, Senior Hiker 77, there's been some flooding out here recently, which knocked out a number of the bridges. What does that mean? Well, the maintenance crew is out. So after we met up, with the through hikers and made our way to Rocky Point. Well, all the maintenance workers had all the parking spots taken up. So guess what? We're back here at Daldal's Knob, getting a late start. It's getting cold. I'd say it's probably like maybe 40 degrees or so right now. It's supposed to get down to like 32 tonight, so freezing. So anyway, we got about 2.3 miles to go. Sparks Creek. Yeah, Alright, don't you don't you bail on me. No, I was just calculating what I would have to lay after the round ball. Yeah. Be careful in this area for sure. It's pretty rocky, right? Yeah. Yeah, not only rocky, steep as hell if you miss it. Don't want to miss a step here. Oh. See? It looks like there's a bunker in there. See how the, the rocks are cut? Yeah. Isn't that weird? Yeah. They're shaved flat. That does look scary. I thought go up there.
Uh, we had a problem this morning. Yeah, I, I think I uh, got the last spot at uh, Rocky Top. Yeah. Hey, Greg. Hey. All right, so we made it to camp. Uh, now it's time to obviously set up our tents and get dinner ready. Uh, that was a little bit different than we expected in terms of spots not being available so I had to double back. Got started a little bit later in the day. It is a little chilly out so uh, we'll see how the temperatures change throughout the night so let's keep moving. So I put all of my gear in Hyperlite pods because it keeps it very much more water resistant than just keeping it in a bag and things of that nature. So inside the Dyneema pack that I have, the Southwest 4400, I put these Dyneema pods inside of it and my gear stays dry in most conditions. I don't think I've ever had a situation where I've had a leak, so I definitely recommend that. So I just had to change my battery. Uh, I keep my GoPro batteries in a pack from Hilltop Packs. I like it because I've been able to identify which ones are still good to go in terms of the batteries. And then as I use them, I put them in the dead battery zone. So if I'm on the move, no pun intended, I know which batteries to pull out and put my GoPro so I can continue to film. Anyway, so for those that don't know this, I'm a big fan of the Flextail Tiny Pump 2.0, or 2X, I think is what it's called. I've customized it, of course, with the Metro on the Moo edition. Very limited edition, I don't know if you can actually get this. But it does help out a lot when you're trying to set up on camp. Check them out, Ease. I recommend this particular product, because not only does it help blow up your pump, but also, it is a light source. So that's a nice feature to have dual purpose in the trail. So I use this typically inside my tent because it's not waterproof. So I was able to uh, hang it up somewhere in here and I actually have light inside my tent. So it's nice to have that extra feature. It's getting cold. Now I see how you, your, your camp setup is. It's very open. I like that. You got a big Agnes bivy uh, too. Yeah. That's cool. Just always switching it up, man. That's the third difference. That's the third setup different I've seen with you, right? Yeah. I like the uh, big Agnes though better than the other one. Yeah. It's lighter, and I got the uh, like they call. Huff. Yep. Good morning. It is roughly seven o'clock. Actually, it is seven o three on Sunday morning. It's about thirty-two degrees or so outside. It's pretty cold. Um, about to get up, have some coffee, hang out around the fire. Looks like we got. I don't know if you can see that there, but it looks like a fire is going on. So it's like a little bit of heat. Thanks a lot, Fred. Let's keep moving. Always bring a extra Ziploc bag to put all your trash in. Makes it nice and easy to one organize your food, but to also clean up. Spam on the grill, baby. Yeah, I like spam. So I'm in a little breakfast here. Coffee and spam. Look at this. Got the char marks and everything. <laughs> on an open flame. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I want to say thank you to everyone that's been watching my channel. On this backpacking trip, I hit 5,000 subscribers on YouTube. Thank you so much to everyone that's been supporting this channel 
over the past nine years. I can't believe it's taken nine years to get to this milestone. But the best part is, is that most of this has happened over the past few years. Those who have been following this channel, lots of love and support from all the adventures out here on the Pine Mountain Trail, the AT, the Pinhody Trail, the Smokies, and beyond. Thank you so much for all of your support. Definitely appreciate it. Let's keep moving. All right, so I wanted to show you my new tent. This is the Unbound two-person tent by Hyperlite Mountain Gear. This has been my favorite tent to date for a number of different reasons. So if you've been watching my channel, you probably saw me using the Z-Pax Duplex L in the past, and it was a great tent, but there were some things that it didn't have that this tent does that really makes it awesome. Like, as an example, you got this vent here. These Dyneema tents, single wall, are likely to get condensation, so having this extra air vent here has been nice. A nice reinforced area here for the trekking pole top. But this zipper on the vestibule is awesome. You have this waterproof zipper, and it's a nice way to make sure that these uh, vestibules stay shut. Um, if you don't know anything about these types of tents, uh, my Z-Pax Duplex L, it has a little clip, and there's lots of times where it just wasn't as secure. But this is part of the reason why I like this tent. Let me go ahead and show you a couple other things inside of it to make it so awesome. So as you can see the zipper here, it's a lot easier to get in versus the rainbow door. Lots of space in here. I'm not as organized as I don't really am. Breaking down camp here, but I just wanted to show that to you. Also these clips, they're magnetic. So you just simply pop it on, Boop. just like that. Nice way to store back the door, especially if you have a nice little view outside your tent. Everything is nice and tucked away. It's awesome. All right, so it's cleared out a little bit. So I just want to give you an idea of the floor and the footprint. I'm six foot one. So here's my feet. You can see I have plenty of space. And I'm all the way to the edge here, but again, lots of room on this floor. There's a footprint here. You also have these hooks up here where you can attach items with a little ridge line. I'm very happy with this tent so far. It's been a definite upgrade from the Duplex L. Loving it. If you have this tent, why don't you put a comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on what you think about the Unbound 2. But again, this has been an aisle build tent for me. Alright, so as you can see, this fire has been completely put out. Campfire is good. The guys are on the move already. That's Senior Hiker 77. Fred's on a walkabout. Leave no trace, guys. Leave it better than you find it. Okay, so as we're leaving Sparks Creek campsite, I wanted to tell you guys a story. Three years ago, at this campsite, it was the first time I had ever met Senior Hiker 77, atypical hiker, Mike P. And I was on a through hike with As the Crow Flies Hiking. Three years later, we're now celebrating 5,000 subscribers on this channel. Um, across a lot of mountains to get here to this point. Lots of peaks and valleys to say the least. But one story I wanted to share with you was this. Right after we had completed the through hike of the Pine Mountain Trail, it was Easter Sunday and my wife and I had hiked up to Cow Rock Mountain on the Appalachian Trail. And it was before sunrise, so it was really cold. We had a great spot. The weather was perfect. The skies were clear. And we ran into a couple through hikers. We shared some stories about backgrounds and such. And at the time, I was still drinking. And I shared with him how I had seen someone die in front of me and how it impacted my life to do the right thing and get on this path with Metro on the move. And the only thing I hadn't done is quit drinking. I told him it was because I couldn't. Well, without hesitation, the man looked me in the eyes and said, it's not that you can, it's that you don't want to. So with that being said, I really took it to heart. A few weeks later, I went out and hiked the Fiery Gizzard Trail with Crow, Leonidas, J. Ben, Stretch, Fireball, and when we got out there, I felt a connection with other people that have walked the path, but they were living sober lifestyles. So a week after that, 
between that incident with the man telling me I couldn't, it wasn't that I couldn't, that I didn't want to quit, that experience I had with the guys, I got sober. And three years later, I'm celebrating sobriety. 5,000 subscribers on YouTube. Thank you so much, guys. I couldn't have done it without you. Let's keep moving. Get over here. So as you can see, they closed down the trail because there are bridges out. Yep. But then the priest is telling me, he said, you know what, they were buddies, so everybody takes a picture. So if you found any value in this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and send me your comments as I do respond. As always, thanks for watching, but until next time, let's keep moving.